Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. In today's episode we're going to take on Watford first in the Premier League. They currently sit bottom of the league and we are at home so you know it's going to be a difficult game. And then we're going to face Krasnodar in our Europa League uh, group stage game against them. It's the first time we'll play them. But we of course have some fixtures to review since the last time we met and the first of which was a 2-0 home win against Arsenal in the League Cup third round. We were pretty fortunate in this game. Granit Xhaka got sent off inside 24 minutes and then we started to dominate. Alexander Isaac got the first goal in the 37th minute. Jean-Pierre doubled that just after half time in the 46th minute. And we have now met the board expectation of reaching the fourth round of the League Cup. So happy days. And then result of the season so far, probably Manchester City, the best side in the league. We beat them 2-0 at home. Jean-Pierre and Esposito with the goals. We did get dominated a little bit, particularly in the possession area of things, but they didn't really create anything. And uh, we did really well. Three points against Man City. We then went away from home against PSV in the Europa League and won 3-0. Armel Bella caught up with the first goal. Pellegrini and Isaac completing the score and in what was a dominant performance. And finally, away from home against West Ham, we managed to scrape through and get a 1-0 win. This game was a pretty even game, but Jean-Pierre got the only goal of the game in the 30th minute. And that sees the Premier League table looking like this. We currently sit in 5th position, 16 points after 8 games. is nothing to sneeze at. The two defeats coming to the hands of Wolves and Chelsea, a little bit disappointing uh, in the only draw, of course, coming against Manchester United in the last episode. So for today, we are against Watford. They are bottom of the league and we are playing at home. So you would expect a pretty convincing win. But you just never know on these sort of games we might end up slipping up majorly. And Krasnodar lost their opening two games in so far against Rangers and PSV. So we will be heavy favourites for that one as well. In terms of the club vision and how the board see things going, we currently sit on a B tier. I would imagine that's going to quickly rise as they are very pleased with a lot of the club culture things that we're doing at the moment. Apparently we're making the most of set pieces now and they're delighted about it. Um, pff, the, the, that didn't change anything so I'm very surprised that that's happening. But everything they added over the summer we're doing well in. And of course we are on course for working within the wage budget. Uh, be competitive in the Europa League. That means if we get past the group stage, we're smashing that target. Finishing top off, we're currently sitting fifth, so we're laughing with that one. We've already met the expectation of reaching the fourth round in the League Cup. So it is literally just the FA Cup there. So I like looking at this. I'm quite happy with how things are going. So I've just noticed me might cut out about two minutes ago. So you've missed the entirety of this game, plus the introduction to the squad. It's pretty much as you would expect in terms of first level for us. Haaland returning from injury for today's game against Watford. But you missed the first 15 minutes. We have been slightly on top. Watford have had the better of the opportunities. They probably should be 1-0 ahead. But we've somehow managed to hold it to 0-0. And we are dominating possession. So hopefully we can make that count as Dodo receives the ball on this right-hand side. Switches the player to Pellegrini. Goes for the strike. Good save by the Watford goalkeeper. They managed to survive another attack. And Watford are coming at us with a 4-4-2. It's a pretty defensive formation they are currently playing. Um, so they're definitely hoping to catch us on the counter, which they have done a number of times already in this game. But if you look at the match stats, we are dominating. We just need to start making that count. Luca Pellegrini cuts inside and finds Jean-Pierre, who switches the player beautifully to Dodo on this right-hand side, tackled in the box. But that is an awful clearance by Shalabon. Sanchez goes for the goal and he gets his second goal of the season and an assist for Erling Haaland on his return. But that was all to do with Watford's um, error-prone defensive work. As you can see here, Dodo comes down the right-hand side, whips the ball in. Oh, he gets challenged, sorry. But then Shalabon just tries to boot it, falls to Haaland who finds Sanchez and it's a decent strike down into the bottom corner of the far post. Keeper can't do anything about that and we find ourselves 1-0 up. And that is it for the first half. Sheffield United won, Watford nil. I'm relatively happy with how things are going. I mean, we're not really dominating on the sort of level you would expect against the bottom of the table side. But they are playing a really, really defensive formation. And they're probably just looking to stifle us and count us. So the fact that we're 1-0 up 50 minutes in can hopefully be a good sign. And we might start to dominate even further as Danny Olmo picks up the ball, finds Pellegrini. And Luca Pellegrini goes for goal and beats Dahlberg in the net. He, that's his second goal of the season. Another assist for Danny Olmo. I think that's that's about five or six now for Danny Olmo so far from central midfield. He really is starting to perform there um, better than you would imagine 
for an attack at midfield there, but Pellegrini there with a decent little finish. Keeper should probably do better and keep that out, but he doesn't manage to do so. We go 2-0 up. We'll take it. Another highlight now, Esposito receiving the ball on this left-hand side from Luca Pellegrini. Whips the ball in. Haaland's there, but he can't quite get his head on it, the keeper. Um, had probably had a cover, but Dodo, I mean, this is getting a little bit silly. Erling Haaland with another assist, his second assist of the game. And Dodo from right wing back with his first goal of the season. It was a great bit of play by Haaland to keep this in play. And then being able to find Dodo when he's under pressure from the defenders. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Dodo had just slipped into a pocket of space there in between the midfield and the defence. And we've made them pay 3-0. With only 18 minutes to go, we will look to make our subs. We'll get Ender Stevens on for Luca Pellegrini at the left wing back role. We'll look to get Alexander Isaac on as well over Esposito, who hasn't had the greatest game. And we'll get Oliver Norwood on for Danny Olmo in the centre of midfield. 90 minutes in now, this will probably be the final highlight of the game. Never know, let's see if we can get our fourth. Ender Stevens drives down this left hand side after receiving it from the central defenders, finds Isaac, who fight lovely little through ball for Jean Pierre. Goes for goal, it hits the side netting. And there we have it, Sheffield United 3, Watford 0. A pretty routine win, Watford aren't a great side in this league. So to get a 3-0 win at home is pretty standard. But good performance by us. Haaland returned from injury, getting his two assists. Um, and some good goals, particularly from uh, Dodo. That was a great one. Same with Luca Pellegrini, our wing-backs. Again, proving they have got some of the best attack and intent out of our whole squad. So there we are, there's the league table after that match, certain on 19th, 19 points in 5th position just behind uh, Man City and Chelsea on goal difference. One point behind Manchester United in 2nd, but Liverpool are running away with the league, currently 5 points clear of Man United in 2nd. Uh, next game is going to be against Krasnodar in the Europa League, I will see you there. And we're back for the Krasnodar game, we are going to play a pretty rotated side, it's a little bit of a risk. Well, maybe shouldn't be doing this, but I hope we've still got the strength and depth to be able to take on Krasnodar and get the win a day. We are away from home, so we've got to be wary of that. Jack Butland starts in goal. John Egan comes in the centre of defence for Bella Kotchap. Onjean and Kerrer keep their place in at centre-back. George Baldock and Ender Stevens come in for Dodo and Luca Pellegrini, respectively. John Fleck and Oliver Norwood come in in the centre of midfield. Jean-Pierre remains in place behind Haaland and Alexander Isaac. We've got the likes of Dodo, Danny Olmo, Esposito, Luca Pellegrini, Renato Sanchez all on the bench. They will be able to come on if we are struggling a little bit. But hopefully these boys can prove that they're good enough to be on our bench and good enough to get game time when it is required. As looking at Krasnodar, they come at us with a 4-3-3. A pretty narrow formation should probably suit us down to the ground and I would hope that we can take advantage of this. So we kick off, we are shooting from left to right in this first half playing in the red and white. We'll see how good Krasnodar are. They've got beat off both PSV and uh, Rangers so far in this campaign. So you would expect us to be able to be dominant here. Jean-Pierre finds uh, Erling Haaland on the edge of the box. And a nice little dink through ball. It's cleared by the Krasnodar defence. Oh no. Long ball over the top and Krasnodar in. Jack Butland with a big save to keep out Marcus. Is that Marcus Berg? I would assume it is. But uh, yeah, very, very close for them to go 1-0 up. So the first 20 minutes or so have gone by and not a lot is happening to be honest with you. Here we are, our second highlight of the game. It's Krasnodar currently in possession. We need to win this back boys. And we do so through Ender Stevens, who plays a long ball over the top for Jean-Pierre. Who's managed to get in behind. He's got three options in the middle. He finds nobody. <laughs> he finds absolutely nobody. Now Krasnodar can break coming through the centre. We need to catch him. And hopefully win the ball back, but Petrov receives it on this right-hand side. Ender Stevens jockeys him nicely, wins the ball, no mistakes made. Butland clears and Isaac picks it up and he keeps it in play and he manages to run down the left-hand side. He beats the man once again, he loses out, but Jean-Pierre on the edge. And Erling Haaland probably should score there and put us 1-0 up, but he was offside anyway, so it wouldn't have counted. Another highlight now, Kabea with the ball in for Krasnodar. Norwood and heads it back over. And Jack Butland somehow claims that ball and they don't go 1-0 up. I have no idea how that's just happened. So the first half hasn't exactly gone to plan. Still a couple of minutes left. But you would have hoped for us to be 1-0 up at least by now. Maybe we were being a bit too cocky playing a rotated side. And here we are. They could go in 1-0 up now. They're in behind 1-1 on -one with Jack Butland. And he strikes it just wide. We're very, very fortunate there. And we go in at half time 0-0. We're not going to make any rash substitutions just now. We'll wait till about 60 minutes in. And we'll look to get some of our big hitters on. But hopefully our boys that are on the pitch right now 
can't do the business. Early highlight in the second half, Haaland plays it down to Jean-Pierre. We've got them on the back foot. Alexander Isaac's in behind. He's only got the keeper to beat. It falls to Haaland. He keeps the ball in. George Baldock on the edge. Nah, it's not going to come to anything. We should have went. Alexander Isaac's just missed an absolute guilt edge chance there. 55 minutes in now, we're going to make our substitutions. John Flex having a bit of a crap game in at centre midfield, so we'll bring on Renato Sanchez. We're going to get off Oliver Norwood as well for Danny Olmo, hoping that the two changes in the centre of midfield can spark some life for us. 20 minutes to go in this match, we'll have another highlight for the second half, and it's Krasnodar who are in possession once again. Ramirez and Klassen playing some decent stuff on that left-hand side to get in behind our defence, goal for goal. Butland claims it a little bit too easily. And um, that was a poor, poor strike by them. We're going to get Dodo on as our final sub for George Baldock in that right wing back role. Hoping he can maybe spark some creativity. He's done well since we've signed him in the summer. Danny Olmo drives forward and finds Haaland on this right hand side. He's got the pace to beat his man down the wing. He looks like he's going to the byline. The ball's played in. Ender Stevens is there back post. He should be getting that on target. Eight minutes to go. Highlight Danny Olmo with the ball in. Haaland's there. It's in the back of the net and we go 1-0 up from a corner. We'll stop going very attacking now. We didn't even get him at that change. But um, another set-piece goal from us. Danny Olmo definitely proven to be a key player for us in the centre of midfield. Haaland just about beats the keeper. Safanov in the six-yard box. Puts us 1-0 up with only seven minutes remaining. Let's hold on for this, please. Four minutes to go and there is another highlight. Krasnodar with a ball, big ball over the top and they managed to win it and bring it down and they can attack with uh, Petrov on this right hand side. He gets the ball in the six yard box. What a ball that was and what a goal that is. Ignajev manages to get the goal on the end on the back post in the 90th minute and equalised for Krasnodar. We are definitely being punished for our arrogance <laughs> coming, coming into this match. This game should be out of sight. You know, Rangers and PSV have both beat Krasnodar and we are gonna we're gonna lose to them. Uh not lose, draw with them. So the chances of us being top after this game in our group are pretty limited. And there's the final whistle. Krasnodar won, Sheffield United won. That was not great. PSV ended up beating Rangers in the other game in our group. We still do sit top purely down to us beating PSV earlier in the group tie. But drawn even away at Krasnodar is a disappointing result, so we're going to have to take things a little bit more seriously. But looking forward to the next episode, it will be the final game in our group stage against PSV. We'll also play a Blackburn in the Premier League alongside that, so there's a big wall of games in between to get through, so yeah. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like, and if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time. Take it easy.